Call the paramedics and bring the anesthetic. This week on YouTube, YouTube has been making some cheeky updates on the site, and I thought it was a good time as any to discuss what we ended up encountering this week. I thought it was another troubleshoot on my end, but apparently that wasn't the case this time. I tried to upload the last video I made on upside and ad scams on the Mr. Beast, but it wasn't loading properly. Seriously, a multi-billion dollar company people use it worldwide to load up stuff, search things, and you're telling me it can't do a simple task of loading your video without you supervising it? We're talking about a place where computer engineers work every day. A place where they're supposed to be the smartest people in their classes. Working on computers, helping us on IT. And you're telling me they can't do something simple as to load up something on your own website without staying on a tab? And that's hoping it will run without corrupting on the loading end. We're talking about Google, YouTube, multi billion dollars. So, these could be the same people who helped work on the same project called Google Stadia. Right here, I was thinking. Okay, if it doesn't load whenever I leave, I'll try again tonight. And that's what I did. And when I got home, I was surprised. It was ready. It was working. It was already loaded. Problem solved, right? Video over. I t yes, sir. No. I checked when it uploaded, and I noticed that it was a flatline on my channel. I usually have a few people watching something on the site. I never had seen a shadow ban hit somebody f just for uploading a video so quickly. I thought, dang, Bob must have seen my next upload and thought, where's my shadow blanket? Okay, we're just gonna, they cover me up like a parrot to keep me silent. <laughs> well, joke's on you, bot, because I might be a nobody, but I can surely squawk. Let's move on to the next task at hand, because if I don't, so let's roll the clips. YouTube was doing some weird stuff the other day. They were making analytics disappear for everybody. Just like, like their magic trick. Yeah, like three or four days. I'm like, well, as long as the ad revenue doesn't just magically disappear. Hope it didn't. You know, so make sure you're still subscribed because I don't really trust. I don't really trust the uh, the bots over at YouTube to do their job correctly. For some reason, uh, I don't even think YouTube knows at this point what the reasoning is behind this entire thing, but for some reason, YouTube has been plagued by this issue over the last like three or four days where essentially if you upload content onto the platform, it somehow steals views from you where basically people who've been uploading videos have been noticing that over time their view counts have been basically getting altered and there's no real direct reason that this seems to be happening. It seems to be like something to do with YouTube's backend on their website or the code or something that runs the website. I don't really know what the issue is. Like I said, I don't even think YouTube knows what the issue is at this point. So as you can see, the new analytics somehow screwed everybody up on viewing videos. And with mine, it made a few gaps. So Monday at three, I had 63 viewers and then all of a sudden I just lost them. And then at the midnight, I had 55. This was the same time I was trying to upload a new video for it to be ready for tomorrow. And that's what that all small little itty bitty dot is in the middle you probably see. Next is the new update on becoming a YouTuber. We got a new layout and shorts are now on the menu. The only gripe I have is that it takes 10 million views to pass the test. Dang, that's a little over a double of what videos are. But at least it's not mandatory. But sure does seem like the shorts could make you the next big thing. The only other fear I have is that it says 90 underneath the shorts and 365 days underneath public watch time on videos. So, is there now a window of how long you need to do them? Because if so, yikes, talk about a deadline. And the way it's set up now, that is the fastest way to upload your channel and make it successful. I mean, we just found out recently that they've been working on it and they're trying to make it into a big thing to compete with TikTok. But what you probably don't know is that working on this could be the reason why our channels are flatlining now. If one channel is flatlining on one side because they're trying to focus more on the shorts, that's probably one of the reasons. Now here's a video that was about three months ago discussing, hey, in 2023, YouTube shorts are probably going to be the biggest thing helping your YouTube channel grow and possibly dictating how they'll find your channel.
recommendations now consider recent long form videos from the channels the viewer watches in shorts. But Top tweeted that out a few months ago and he ended that tweet with more to come. And more is <laughs> and more is coming. And more to come was right. Who would have ever suspected that they would change so much in 2023 to where the platform would start screaming, what is going on? A stronger bridge enabling viewers more like disabling to cross from shorts to long form is coming very soon. I recommend leaning into this feature. Todd is the guy at YouTube who directs the team who's responsible for search and discovery, the algorithm that helps our content get seen and discovered. And he's saying publicly that he would recommend that you lean into the feature. Video over. Uh, yes, sir. Well, here's whenever I did a test on this subject. I made two different videos, one for my regular video and one for the shorts. I shortened it down a bit so it could fit into the shorts category and one that can work into the regular video section. What were the odds? One practically didn't even get visible, and the other one skyrocketed. Guess which one skyrocketed? That's right, the YouTube Shorts. It was like I was gathering flies with honey. But after the one hour hit, boom, a flat line, just like a heart attack. Well, time to pull out the carving kit, because this video was dead, just like this channel. Next, I waited till the morning to compare the 24 hours worth. But I've noticed whenever I loaded up a short and compared it with the one I uploaded on a video, not only did I lose even more viewers, but the short that hit only lasted for one hour. After that one hour hit spike, it was like, okay, goodbye. And then it just stopped. It's like hitting a spike and then all of a sudden, okay, shut it down, shut it down. Video over! Uh, yes, sir! I don't know how to end this. I don't know how to tell you what to do to fix it. I just know make videos on time where people would usually watch you the most, start making more shorts, and hopefully February will be more nicer.